Hi, it's Michelle and I'm a Certified Holistic Nutritionist and today I wanted to share with you some, I guess some tips, some herbs and some supplements that you can use if you're not feeling well, if you have the flu, uh, maybe a cold even. And uh, recently I was sick, I'm still a little bit recovering, you can probably hear it in my voice. Um, but I haven't been sick in many years, so this is like a refresher to me to go out and find things that would actually work to help me because my son got sick and then I was taking care of him, so then I got sick and just with the winter and whatever else was going on sort of created this sickness that I guess I needed to rest. So uh, I'm going to sort of start off with this book. So this is one of the books, um, Holistic Herbal by David Hoffman that I actually used when I was studying uh, holistic nutrition and it's got all these different um, herbs in there and you can make your own sort of herbal teas and the ones I really focused on were expectorants which are really helpful if you have a lot of phlegm they help to move the phlegm out and so I was having a lot of phlegm and I and coughing and just it felt like a lot of stuff was stuck. So I needed that to sort of help move it out. So I had this tea, I made this concoction of, um, here I have everything here, um, let's see what I have. So I had this concoction of um, elderberry, um, star anise, um, angelica root, and elderberry flowers I just sort of threw in. And the reason was, like I was saying, they're expectorants and they're very good at sort of pulling phlegm out of your system and they will help with coughing. So it's just something to help your, your system do um, to, to sort of pull out the phlegm. Another really good herb is thyme. So if you're cooking, you can add that in. You could even make a tea with it, but it's really good at just clearing phlegm and mucus and helping your system just sort of clear out. Um, so that was important. I made a mug of that. So like a teaspoon of each um, into a large mug of water three times a day. And I let it steep for about 20 minutes. And the other tea that I had a lot of, I <laughs> have these little props, um, is turmeric, ginger, and lemon tea. So I had that other tea three times a day and then I was having this tea. And the reason it's so amazing uh, is because turmeric is an anti-inflammatory, but it's so it's really good when you have any kind of inflammation or even fevers or you know anything that is inflammation in your body when your your immune system is sort of on alert it is creating inflammation um, and so turmeric helps to cleanse the blood it also helps to um, sort of kill off bacteria it's antiseptic and so it's really great for that and it's a warming spice and then and it also helps your liver to detoxify which is amazing and then ginger is anti-inflammatory as well it's very warming um, more so in creating a lot of circulation in the body and whenever you create warmth and circulation in your sort of digestive tract or this area, you're bringing more blood flow. So, which means more nutrition, but you know, your immune system, everything's gonna be alerted to kind of focus on this area of the body. Uh, ginger also contains a lot of zinc, which is really important for the immune system. And ginger, when you have fresh ginger, it is just more potent, I find, than Although they say the powder goes deeper into the body, I find for me um, just having the fresh root and that warmth, warm feeling really helps. And then you can add in when the tea is sort of not super hot, fresh lemon. And again, lemon is just full of lots of vitamin C, so you don't want it to be too hot because you'll destroy the vitamin C and the enzymes in the lemon. It um, has amazing enzymes for your liver, so it's going to help boost the liver. That's probably clearing out a lot of stuff from your system from being sick. And then it also helps to um, 
flesh out the system, so have bowel movements. So we, we really want to sort of kick up detoxification um, so that our body, whatever you know, the virus is sort of um, creating in our system, we're, we're also allowing it to leave our system. So those are some things that really help. So food is medicine, but also upping, I decided to up my vitamin D. Um, there's this great uh, naturopath that's close by and she just mentioned that. And I also got lipospheric vitamin C. So I was taking this extra dose of vitamin C sort of as a boost um, on an empty stomach. Um, this one is lipospheric, so it's, um, Vitamin C tends to leave our, it's water soluble and leaves our body every four hours. This is sort of in a fat soluble, um, so it sort of stays in your system longer and goes in deeper into your cells. And then, of course, probiotics. Um, so probiotics are so important. Vitamin C is so important for boosting your immune system and helping it, especially if it's been so overactive, it's going to be more stressed out and it's going to need more antioxidant support. And with probiotics, our immune system, most of it is housed in our gut. So again, we want to make sure that we're boosting our bacteria there, our good bacteria, because they are our immune system. They're actually um, going to be helping our immune system and boosting our immunity. And if you did have a sore throat and you opened a capsule of probiotics and sort of gargled with it, it would also help with whatever infection you were having sort of in your throat as well. So probiotics are so important for gut health, but our gut houses our immune system, the majority of it. So that's so important as well. Another herb I'm going to mention because our um, lymphatic system is really our immune system as well. And that's where a lot of lymphatic tissue is in the gut. So having something, I was having a tea that had cleavers in it. Um, even ginger and all of that also helps with the lymphatic system, just with circulation. And when you're sick, it's really hard to move around. So, you know, your lymphatic system might become more sluggish. So adding in an herb like cleavers could help to move, move sort of all of that, um, maybe stagnation because our lymphatic system runs parallel to the circulatory system, but it has no pump. So it needs help to sort of move to clear out. So those are sort of my tips if you're not feeling well to add in these. Um, and I don't use any conventional medication personally, that's up to you wherever you feel you're at. The reason is with um, sort of Advil and aspirin and things like that, they really just mask the issue, they're just, um, sort of masking what's really going on in your body. So it's not really healing you. Um, you might not feel pain, but you're not also dealing with the underlying issue. So it's really important for you to decide what you want for your body, because if you're not feeling, allowing your body to fully be how it needs to be to go through the illness. Of course, we want to use remedies that help us and help boost our system and get us through, um, you know, a sickness quicker. But if we're sort of only half doing it, we're not allowing our body to function fully. And that just leads to more and more issues as time goes on. And, and I personally don't want that. So hopefully this video has helped you. And if you have any questions or comments, please do let me know. And I look forward to sharing more with you. And I hope this has been helpful for you if you're not feeling well, um, or at least to bookmark it for the future next winter, because I know I'll be. Anyways, I hope you have a great day. And please be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.